Drew here at Frisco Tennis Shop. Just want to make a brief video discussing the tennis serve grip. You've probably heard the continental grip, hammer grip, chop grip, definitely the most popular tennis serve grip in tennis. In this brief video, I'm going to discuss some other variations of that continental grip that can be used for different serves. I'm going to talk about that coming up. Now, when it comes to tennis serves, if you go take a lesson or, or if you look to see what's the best tennis grip to use, you're going to hear the term continental used a lot. Continental means if this is an octagon, our grip, it means bevel number one is the top. The second bevel over for righties, it would be to the right. For lefties, it would be to the left. I put a black dot where that second bevel is. So for most of our serves, you can hit all of your serves with this chop grip, which puts this right knuckle on bevel number two. Really, allow, really allows us to pronate through contact, have our serve on edge through that shot. You can all your, hit all of your serves with this continental grip. However, that being said, the critique of using a continental grip, I would say for these reasons. The second thing I would say, um, or the second grip you can use would be for a flatter serve. Let's say you're hitting with your continental grip, but you keep getting a little bit too much spin on each serve. In this case, I would recommend going one bevel over, or if not one bevel over, which would be the Eastern, right on that corner, I put a red line on it. I know it's tough to see. Uh, going one over to the right, and for the lefties, it would be one over to the left. Not all the way over to the next bevel, that would be an Eastern grip, and we don't want to do that. However, you can have that knuckle right on edge between the Continental Eastern. That should flatten out your contact a little bit more. It should allow you to take away a little bit of that spin, because sometimes with a full Continental grip, we're uh, coming up on edge and hitting a little bit too much spin when for a flat serve, we're not looking for any spin. We want max velocity and a flatter contact. We don't want to go to a full Eastern because that will allow a little bit too much of a waiter strength to be a speed killer. But right on that corner between a continental and Eastern, between the corner of bevel number two and bevel number three, can really allow you to flatten out your contact a little bit more to get a little bit more speed and to take a little bit of spin out of the serve. The other serve grip I would talk about, if we have our continental, which is bevel number two, here for us righties, is going almost to bevel number one. And when would we use this type of serve grip? If you're struggling to get a little bit of a kick or a little bit of a spin on the serve, by bringing this uh, knuckle over, and I put a blue line, I know it's tough to see, but this blue line here, so I'm not on the very top bevel, I'm just on the corner between a continental and that top bevel. That's gonna force you, there's really no way to use this grip and not get some slice, uh, not get a little bit of spin on this ball. I would recommend experimenting with this grip when you're going for your kick serve, just contact point a little bit more over the head, and your slice serve when you're finishing with this palm up, trying to get that ball to kick to the side. This grip can be great to use. In fact, I would not use this particular grip I'm about to say in a match, but if you wanna put your knuckle all the way on bevel number one, the very top bevel, it's gonna look very weird, um, and I, I've seen other coaches talk about this, and I think it's a great drill to use. By experimenting with this, it's gonna feel so weird to hit a serve with this grip, because uh, it's gonna be very difficult to hit it uh, into the opposite core. However, it really forces you to get used to that slice or that kick. So when you go to either your continental or the grip I just talked about on the border of a continental and that top bevel, it's gonna feel a little bit easier to get that kick serve over the head, pronating down, or that slice serve to the side. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Shop talking about the three potential serve grips, and I hope you found it useful. We'll talk soon.